Michael Mark, a 1-0 defeat today, what's your thoughts on the performance? Performance was fantastic, um, put in a real good shift, we played some excellent football, you can see that we're improving, um, but we don't want to be that team, that fluffy team that comes away and plays well and loses 1-0, it was, um, some, it's, there's always areas for improvement, but um, we are, we're definitely on the right path. Um, but we're, we're brutal with ourselves, you know, we're not happy, we're, we're completely, you know, we're gutted that we haven't got something out of that game. Um, but, you know, some markers that we measure ourselves for, you know, we've, we've scored well in today. And if you play like that more often than not, we've got a great chance of picking up points. That is, that is without a doubt. Just the one change made from start 11, Wasim comes in. What was the thinking behind that? Again, Mo's missed a lot of pre-season. Um, so three games in a week. Um, it was always going to be difficult and um, we've got to get Mo fit, fit fitter, um, especially for our regime. Um, he's got a lot of great qualities for us, but um, we, with, with three games in a week, people have got to pass the baton on and uh, we've got to keep ourselves fresh because we, we know, we're a high energy team and we've got to make sure we keep that energy high throughout the game. Um, so what started today um, and obviously Mo come on. Looking at the first half, obviously there was a bit of early pressure from them, but we did well to sort of see that through and defensively see that out and then the game sort of has that chance where it could change with Corey's opportunity one on one. And looking at you, how do how do you look back on that? Yeah, it's a it's a big chance, a great great run and move. I think it's a, fa a fantastic move to set it up as well. So great football from us. Uh, keeper's made a great save. Um, you know he's gone through one on one, and the keeper's just got his fingertips to it. But um, again, they've got a great move for us, and I'm sure in time we'll start putting them chances away. But everyone done everything right. The keeper's made a good save. So we kept asking questions. You know the keeper's made a few saves. We've had headers. We've hit the post twice. So we asked a lot of questions against a, a very well organised, good, good side here. You know, they're well coached. You know, and they were, you know, a fantastic team. But we gave them more than a match, and that makes it disappointing for us that we haven't took anything out of the game. How do you reflect in particular in the first half? Obviously, the late goal for them. It's ultimately won them the game. It must be disappointing as you can see the way we did so late on. Absolutely. You know, there's, those things are completely avoidable. That wasn't a, a free flowing move of uh, absolute quality. That's us switching off on the second phase, which cannot happen, cannot be tolerated. Uh, but I said, we're hard on ourselves, we're brutal on ourselves, we'll analyse that, we'll, we'll practice, we'll get better. But um, like I said, on the whole, I'm seeing all the characteristics I need from. Uh, from a side that represents Aldershot. With the second half as well, obviously, we come out and pretty much a hammer and tongue at them, you know, we're really going for that equaliser throughout the second half, particularly late on in the game. You know, Cody has a chance up front for the last 10 minutes to really sort of seal it. How do you reflect on the second half? Yeah, what one ultimate of frustration because we haven't managed to find the back of the net, but also buoyed by the performance and the, the intensity and, and quality at times as well. And, and like I said, I don't think we're even into double figures of training sessions yet. So, you know, we'll keep, we'll keep working hard and um, we'll stay humble you know we'll let this hurt I want it to hurt um, defeat but we'll also take the positives learn from the negatives and um, dust ourselves down and come back bigger and stronger just a note on Waggy as well obviously came on for the last 20 minutes and he sort of looked to push us forward and really get that equaliser but ultimately it wasn't to be today yeah I and mean, we had to have a reshuffle when he come on I just made the substitution and then Fair, fair play to Cody, you know, his, his eyes completely swollen up, so we could only see out of one eye. So we had to make the, uh, you know, luckily he didn't get ruled out of concussion, but with only one eye open, it was it was difficult to leave him at centre half at that stage of the game where we're pushing. We couldn't afford to concede another, so we put another body into attack where, you know, if he couldn't quite see, it wouldn't be so detrimental. So, um, but again, he got on the end of a couple of crosses. Just couldn't agonise and he couldn't just force his head back across. And, um, you know, like I said, we asked a lot of questions. We went agonisingly close, frustratingly close. Um, you know, like I said, we'll, uh, we'll lick our wounds and we'll, we'll come back stronger. I think that's the thing, obviously, we know we've really gone at them. You know, I think of Mikel's shot that's bounced off the post. I think of the crosses in to Cody and, you know, I think the late chances they on, especially the goal mouse scramble. So we really did almost have that equaliser that we fully deserved in the second half. Yeah, for sure. Like, you worry if you're not making chances. We made chances, we asked questions, we put them under pressure, we played some excellent football you know we worked really hard out of possession um, you know against a really good side you know um, but it means no it means nothing at the moment we didn't get the points for it so we um, like I said we move on quickly of course it is a small change of competition obviously the FA Cup next week a chance to get through to the first round and ultimately you know how important that is both as a player and as a manager as well yeah absolutely this is this week is again against is about character, attitude and application. Um, it's a, a huge game for us. The next game is always the biggest and we need to prepare right. We need to be as professional as we can. We need to continue to improve and uh, not take our eye off the ball. We would be, 
you know, we can't. We have to follow this performance up. We can't let our standards drop at all. We got, to, we got to stretch them. We got to take them further. And I'm looking into the eyes of that group in there, and um, I think they're going to bring it this week. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video, and click here to subscribe. Shot.